The flipped classroom. Let's reverse where traditional homework and lecture take place. Now, I must warn you beforehand, watching this presentation can literally turn your world upside down. The first thing most educators are going to ask is why flip? Well, here are a couple reasons to consider. With a flipped classroom, the content becomes available to students beyond typical classroom time. Students are now able to access the content anytime. Benefit that comes with viewing content in video format is the ability to stop, pause, play, etc. Students can write down questions about the content at home. Then, when students enter the classroom, they are already prepared to ask these questions to their teacher. When a teacher flips a classroom, that teacher is able to walk around the room. Ultimately, flipping a classroom frees up time for teachers to work with students individually. Now, let's take a quick break to think about how our students are used to acquiring knowledge. Students of today mostly learn from their phones and computers. Students of today are comfortable with the flip model because it's how they usually access knowledge. Lastly, we know some students learn faster than others. Flipping a classroom allows teachers to personalize learning. Now, how do you flip a classroom? What steps should you take? Right now, I'm going to outline an eight step path that I have successfully used to flip my classroom. Each step is represented with a star. The first step in flipping a classroom begins with the buy-in. Get your students, parents, and administrators on board with the flip model. Step two, curate the resources you need to flip a classroom. These are resources for instruction, such as YouTube video, online worksheets, quizzes, electronics, etc. Now, moving on to the actual first day of class, classroom management is required for a flip model, just like a traditional model. Very early on, be sure to spend time and incorporate expectations and procedures, as this learning style may be new. Number four is technology training. Teachers need to learn how to curate videos through YouTube channels and create playlists, and students must be able to access and interact with online content. Now we get to the actual flipping. And the number five is assigned content for homework. Students will access content through videos, hyperdocs, interactive PowerPoints, slides, and much more. Next up, number six. Students work on problems during class time. Students get to work on the application of skills in class where a teacher walks around the room and facilitates and helps students as needed. Moving on to number seven, independent learning. With a flipped classroom, students become independent learners and have the ability to move through the curriculum at their own pace. And the last star in the sky, number eight, peer tutoring. Pair up your advanced students who mastered the content beforehand with students having a hard time completing the problems. So what does it actually look like? The traditional model has students attending school where content is delivered by teachers and students going home to work on problems. But here we are getting rid of that model and replacing it with a flip model. In the flip model, students work on problems when they are at school and when students are at home, content is delivered online. Here are a couple tools you may need when flipping a classroom. YouTube will allow you to provide video lessons. Social media can help disseminate content. Devices to access online content. Google Doc links, slides to learn content, and sites to find the content. Readings can be used as well. Right now, I would just like to say thank you for your time, and please subscribe to this channel, and I really would appreciate it, and I would thank you very much.